Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Alright, just to quickly show you what I've done off screen. I've equipped Cloud the Butterfly Edge, I've given him time, and uh, I was doing a bit of experimentation because I misread the guide to where, to the point of where I didn't really know when to go where. But, let's go ahead and assemble our party. Who I want is... What? Barrett and Eris. And now, I can go ahead and equip that crap I forgot to equip with them last time. And you must watch every second of it. They must torture you the whole way. Of course, I do know a bit of a difference. This thing has at least three times more slots. Well, not three times, but almost twice as many slots as what Eris can equip right now. And what I'm going to equip her with... Poison, Transform, Fire, and then... Chocomog. I'm going to save Ifrit for Red 13. So Barret, he doesn't... Oh, wait! Yes, he does need more material. What should I give him? What does he, what does he not have? Fire. There! Now we're all prepped. Uh, you don't have to do this. All we're all we're looking at is like this constellation thing and apparatus. So we're not going to encounter any big monsters or anything in this place. I'm technically lying. Of course, we have to encounter something. I mean, look, there's a big iron door. There's no way you could have missed that. If you did, oh my god. Anyway, go ahead and climb up back to Bugens. I still don't know how to pronounce that name. I want to pronounce it German-wise, which would be like. It sounds something like Bugenhagen. Okay, anyway. Here! Over here! The door's unlocked! Come on in! What door? Oh, you mean this door? Hello. Yes? Ho ho ho! It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll be... I'll be stand there. I'll stand there, more like. I need you to misread your script. I mean... Hey, look! Everything turned dark and pretty all of a sudden. Ooh. Fancy. So pretty. It's just like the real thing. Hmm. Yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. So this is what all that windmill power is for. Hey, a shooting star! Precisely that would be a bunch of rocks and particles flying through space that would create the illusion of a quote-unquote star. No, don't ask me how I knew that. Although I doubt that neighboring... And yes, this is a so miniature solar system. I don't think that neighboring this solar system about a, f a few light years away would be a black hole. I just don't necessarily see that. Wow! How wonderful! Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Are we taking a lesson? Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their cons conscious, their hearts and their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream. In other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life. Children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. I'm intrigued.
and evidently this is a uh, Final Fantasy VII remodeling of our world, Earth. Well now, what is all this, you might ask? That would be the spirit energy, or as many of you crazy people probably know as the life stream. Spirit energy makes all things possible, trees, birds, and humans. Not just living things, but spirit energy makes it possible for planets to be planets. What happens if that spirit energy were to disappear? You mean, wasted as Mako energy, right? Er... Um... Since when did space have a gravitational pull? And that's besides the point. The planet's gonna collapse! These are the basics of the study of planet life. If the spirit energy is lost, our planet is destroyed. <laughs> spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When the spirit energy is forcefully extracted, and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy gets compressed in the reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. That was an interesting lesson. I thank you for this, Bujin. Yeah, well, it really is quite interesting. This is kind of like a philosophy of what really could happen to our Earth. The story of the planets and those who lived with them. You want to know more? Then you must listen to the words of the elders. We can do that, or we can go ahead and participate in a Fort Condor battle. Of course, I will do the latter of the two. Why bother talking to silly old elders when you can go ahead and go all the way across the ocean to Fort Condor? Hmm. I really don't know why I would, but this is the material shop. Oh no, I went the right way. You can get lost in there, seriously. There's like five different ways to get out. But at least it's not super annoying like certain other games I know. Anyway. Before, if you tried to pass this guy... Hey. Didn't already? But it appears your friends still want to learn more about the plan. Screw you. <sighs> do not tell me... 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 Ah! I really need to look at that guide better. <sighs> We looked at the apparatus. Nick. I want to leave. I want to leave. <sighs> For safety's sake, folks. Give me a sec while I experiment. I'm going to have to rewrite a save in order to do said experiment. So. Yep. I'll see you guys a second once I get my stopwatch out. Alright, see you guys in a sec. However, if you are still with me, that means this experiment is successful, and that means that I don't have to cut anything out, which will be a great yahoo for me. But, just in case, if all goes to the worst, I already have a spare Cosmo Canyon file. Works quite perfectly. Now, to be reassembled with the rest of our party and start a conversation. It goes in a specific order, so... Well, not necessarily a specific order, but you need to talk to people in something or other. Anyway, so I guess it is an order. Now note, if you don't have Yuffie at this point, you can't talk to her, obviously. So, talk to Barrett. So what's up? 
Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday, when we saved the planet from the Shinra, that we'd all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all... We all hate the Shinra. Do I even gotta go on? Will they? Will they ever forgive me? Right now, I really don't know. But I know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet, or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. Let them decide for themselves. Ugh, I'm gonna do it. Again. Again. Avalanche is reborn again. I moved. What a boring place. Just like I thought. I wanna go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. Wit nagging. Wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. I'm just gonna do his voice in the Scottish. And I know I said I'd stop voice acting. I can't help it. Let's talk to Eris. What's up, girlfriend? I mean... I learned a lot. The others taught me many things. You were with us the whole time. About the Cetra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm... We're here for you, right? I know. I know, but... I am the only... Cetra. Does that mean we can't help? What do you gotta say about this, Tifa? Cloud, bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago... It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You really... Really are... You... Right? Well, there's only one me, Tifa, and his name is I mean Cloud. Yeah, Cloud. No, no story spoilers. No, 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 not so, not whatsoever. Right? Uh, what do you guys say, Nanaki? Buddy, hey. Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. <laughs> no, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I am full of pride and joy. But that's fine. But when I remember my father, my heart is full of anger. Hey, it's fine to hate your father. You really can't forgive your father. Of course, he left mother for dead. When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki. There's something you should see. Huh? This... the place may be dangerous. Cloud, will you and one other person come with us? Up, uh, sure. Certainly. I don't have a problem with it. And... Damn it, Nanaki is stuck on our party. Yeah, well, it's not really a big deal. We're gonna help... we're gonna help Eris level up, so this'll be a relatively... relatively, relatively crappy party. But you can always change your party members at any time by talking to any of the people within the circle of the fire. Or the ring of fire. Anyway, can we leave now? Thank you. Okay. That means I don't have to cut anything out. And how much time do we have left? I'm pretty sure I'm good. Whoa. Um. Forget going to Fort Condor. You'll see that in the next part. Oh, man. I was looking forward to that, too. Well, not really, but you get my point. Anyway. Let us go ahead and save. So, in the next part, we're going to do a Fort Condor battle first with Nanaki, forced in our party. <sighs> you can tell I don't like this party member. He's fast and relatively decent at attacking, but he sucks. Anyway, in the next part, with Nanaki forced in our party, we're going to go to Fort Condor, then see what Bujenhagen wants. And, perhaps, fight off some ghosts. You never know what you'll find in that cavern. Well, behind that iron door, which is a cave. 
But anyway, before I spoil the rest of the story, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next part. So until then.